Hey guys, Matt here. I want to do a video today because about a week and a half ago, somebody on YouTube asked me a question. I thought it was a fantastic question, and so I wanted to make a video about it. They asked me, what is the biggest mistake a first-time gun buyer can make when buying their first gun? Now, I've gotten asked many times about buying first guns. Should I choose this or this? Should I go with a handgun or a shotgun? You know, I'm turning 18. Shotgun or rifle? Turning 21. You know, semi-auto revolver. But nobody's ever asked me, what is the biggest mistake somebody can make when buying that first handgun? I thought it was a great question. And I thought it really... Uh, might help somebody out if I put the information out there. So, what is the biggest mistake somebody can make when buying a firearm for the first time? Well, quite frankly, it's not shooting enough firearms before making that purchase. Now, I'm talking about everything. We're talking about shooting some rifles, shooting some shotguns, you know, get out there and shoot some revolvers, or make sure you shoot some semi-automatic pistols. Anything you can get your hands on, get out there and shoot it. Now the reason you want to do this is because you want to know what's going to work best for you. You want to find out what your personal preference is. Okay? You want to be able to know what you're comfortable with, what you're proficient with. And I'm not just talking about a specific type of gun, but also the caliber. You need to know what you can and can't handle when it comes to calibers. These are all very important things that you need to know up front because just like with any decision you make, Personal preference, especially when dealing with a firearm, reigns supreme. It's one of the biggest factors to making any sort of decision, especially something like a first firearm where for the first time you're going to go out and spend four to eight hundred dollars on a firearm. You want to make sure you do what you need to do to make sure it's the right choice. Now, I've met a whole lot of people in the last few years that are new to firearms and that went out and bought their first firearm without even shooting a firearm at all before. They go out based off of uh, merely just the advice of a friend or the person at the gun counter to make the decision on which gun they want to buy. I've also talked to a whole lot of those same people who, within six months to a year after buying that first handgun, either ended up trading it, selling it, or just buying something else to replace it because they went with something that was more comfortable for them. So in the end, getting a chance to really shoot some guns before you make the decision to buy is going to save you time and money in the long run to make sure you pick the right firearm the first time. I know a lot of people go with the intention of saying, I'm going to go buy a pistol, but when they get a chance to sit down and shoot something and really think about it and do some research, maybe they end up going with a shotgun or a rifle instead for their first gun. There's a lot of factors you need to take into consideration, and shooting these guns, as many of them as you can get your hands on, is the best way to figure out what works for you. Now, a lot of times it's pretty easy for a lot of people out there, okay? You go grab your friends, your family, whoever's got guns, you get them to take you to the range and just shoot everything you can get your hands on. For some people, it's a little more difficult. You may have to actually go to a range and rent some guns. Maybe you don't know anyone that has guns, or maybe you live in an area where guns are a little more restricted, and that's your only choice. But either way, it's going to save you time and money in the long run, and it's going to help you figure out what will work best for you, and really that's what it boils down to figuring out what's going to work best for you so you make the right decision the first time you buy. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys out there. I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, comments, video responses, send them my way. And we'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks.